digestion of food. We know that the food we eat is used by the body to produce energy for growth and repair and for protection from diseases. But this food cannot be utilized by the body as such. The food we eat is very complex. It has to be broken down to simpler forms so that it can be absorbed and utilized. The process by which the complex food that we eat is broken down to simple form that can be easily absorbed by the blood in the body is called digestion. The complete process of digestion. Most of us think that digestion takes place in the stomach only. But this is not true. Digestion is a long process that starts as soon as we put a morsel of food into the mouth and start chewing. Do you find this hard to believe? Let us try to know the process of digestion better and learn about the different stages of this process. Mouth When the food is put into the mouth, the teeth start grinding it into smaller pieces. At the same time, saliva is produced by the salivary glands present in the mouth. This saliva mixes with the chewed food to form a semi-liquid paste. This happens because solid food is tough to swallow and digest. The saliva also contains an enzyme that breaks down starch into soluble sugar. Enzymes are substances, chemicals that help in digestion and other functions. The tongue not only tastes the food but also helps in swallowing of the chewed food. The chewed food is pushed into the food pipe that is also called esophagus or gullet. The mouth, food pipe, stomach, liver, pancreas, small intestine, large intestine and anus together form the digestive system or the elementary canal. Stomach Through the food pipe, the chewed food reaches the stomach. The stomach looks like a large bag. Here, the food is churned by the stomach muscles and in the process, it mixes with the digestive juices of the stomach called gastric juice. In the stomach, the food gets partly digested. The gastric juice contains an acid that kills the germs and digests the protein part of the food. Small intestine From the stomach, the partly digested food enters the small intestine. The small intestine is a long, twisted passage where complete digestion of food takes place. Here, more digestive juices mix with the food. The liver supplies bile juice while the pancreas provide pancreatic juice. Bile juice helps in fat digestion and pancreatic juice helps in digesting carbohydrates. Once digestion is complete, the simpler forms of food are absorbed by the blood flowing through the walls of the small intestine. The small intestine is about 5 meters long to enable complete digestion and absorption. The small intestine has finger-like projections called willi. 
These villi have a rich supply of blood and these enable proper absorption of the digested food by increasing the surface area of the intestinal wall. The small intestine thus performs two functions, completing the process of digestion and enabling the absorption of the digested food by the blood. The various components of food are broken into different simpler substances during the process of digestion. Fats get converted into fatty acid and glycerol. Carbohydrates, that is starch, is converted into simple sugars. Proteins are converted into amino acids. Large intestine. Not all the food that is eaten gets digested and absorbed by the body. The undigested food passes into the large intestine. Here, water is reabsorbed and sent to the kidney. The solid waste or the undigested food is called feces or stools. It is stored in the rectum and sent out of the body through the anus. Good eating habits To keep the digestive system functioning properly, we must develop good eating habits. Food must be had regularly at fixed time. One should not remain without meals for very long hours. One should have a balanced diet. One should avoid fast food and eat properly cooked food. One should include fresh vegetables and fruits in one's meal. One should eat slowly and chew each morsel or bit of food thoroughly before swallowing. This ensures that the food mixes with the saliva and gets digested properly. Sit straight while eating. Never lie down and eat anything. One should drink plenty of water for proper digestion. But one should not drink too much water while having meals or just after meals. One should wait for at least half an hour after meals to allow the gastric juices to work on the food before drinking water. One should never overeat. One should not talk while eating as it is bad manners and causes choking. After meals, one should rinse the mouth and if possible, brush the teeth. At night, one should not go to sleep right after dinner. One should take a walk to enable digestion. Avoid eating food while watching TV.